Sickle cell disease is extremely important to our region. Outside of West Africa, we have the highest prevalence in the world. And we got the gene not only from Africa, but also from India. So in Jamaica, for example, one in every 150 babies born has sickle cell disease. So this year, I'm one of the CARFA awardees and I presented on our work in sickle cell disease, a model for collaboration. And my hope is that this model can be used in other diseases such as mental health. So, sickle cell disease can impact mental health in several ways. Believe it or not, about 6% of our children with SS disease, which is the most severe type, will have a stroke by the time they're 16. I mean a stroke. Half of your body is dead and you can't talk, right? And apart from that, one in five, so 20% of children with sickle cell disease get a silent stroke, where you don't see anything on the outside, but it might affect their learning or their behavior. So clearly, sickle cell is related to mental health, but even more, sickle cell disease causes pain, like you can't understand, like chikungunya times 100, right? Now imagine every morning you get up, you don't know if you're gonna go through to the rest of the end of the day without that pain. What's that gonna do to your mental health? You just don't know what's gonna happen. Thankfully, we have hydroxyurea, which can help with that. And also, if you're missing school or you're missing work, how is that gonna impact on your mental health? If your family, you feel they're getting tired of you and there's stigma, how's that gonna impact on your mental health? So there are lots of ways in which sickle cell disease can impact your mental health. And there are lots of ways that public education can make sure that that impact doesn't happen.